Good morning, my name is Pam and I'm gonna do a body weight workout with you today. All you need is a table and a chair. I'm on my outside patio, you can be inside at your kitchen and your body weight, that's it. So many people think they need a gym to get a great workout and I'm here to tell you, using your body is a great way to get a full body workout in just 10 minutes. Now, let's start, let's just sit here and talk. No, 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 we're gonna do squats. Now when you squat, all the weight should be in your heels and legs about 90 degrees. I want you to come down and tap your butt every time. So we're gonna come up and we're just doing a little tap down and come up, a little tap down. Now, it's not a rest, it's just a tap so you know where you are. That's it. Let's go three more like that. Here's two, see how my body's nice and tall, chest is up, shoulders are back and done. We're gonna alternate that with push-ups. Your table is a great place or your kitchen counter to do push-ups. Now, I see a lot of people doing this. No, 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 your head actually stays in one place. You're gonna come halfway down and halfway up. Halfway down and halfway up. See, my head does not move. Now, if you can get a little bit lower, absolutely go for it. We're just starting out right here. Let's go two more like that and one. Now we are gonna go back. I'm gonna move this just a little bit so I don't go out of frame. There we go. So we can see it back to the squats. I like alternating two things. Keep that chest up, keep your shoulders back, but barely, barely touching the bench. Let's go four more just like that because you can. Here's three, here's two, last one. And back to the push-ups. Feet wider is gonna give you a make it a little bit easier. Feet close together is gonna to make it a little harder. You can go lower if you want. I really just wanted you to get the proper form. Everything you do body weight wise, actually strength wise, it's all about form. If you just do this, that's not doing much. So let's get that form down. Let's go two more and one more. We're gonna do three sets, okay? weights back in your heels. If you get your toes up in your shoes even, that would be amazing. And I want you to breathe for me. No holding your breath. Just three more like that. Here's three. Here's two. Last one. Turn around. Back to the push-ups. Last set of push-ups right here. If you can get your chest all the way to your table or if you're at your kitchen counter, Amazing. If you can go halfway down and keep good form, amazing. Everybody is at different fitness levels. Please listen to your body and do what is best for you. Just one more. Okay, now we're gonna have a seat. We're not resting though. We're gonna work the back of our arms, our triceps or bingo wings. Now your hands are gonna be on the chair. Your butt's gonna be close to the chair. I do not want out you out here. Nice and close to the chair. Lower yourself down an inch or two and come back up. See how you feel. Now, if this is easy for you, you can get lower, but make sure that body stays nice and close to your bench because that works the triceps. We want to stay with the triceps. When you get further away, that works most of your shoulders. We'll do two more. Here's two, one, come on up. Put your left hand behind your back. Stick your right hand out. Put your right foot back. Keep a little bend in that left leg for me. We're gonna come down and balance and come back up. You also get some amazing hamstring and glute work, but we lose balance as we get older. And I always like to include it in my workouts because it's one of those things, if you practice it, you don't get awful at your, it, you don't, it doesn't get worse. That's why so many older people fall because they don't have any balance. Well, you gotta practice just like your strength. You gotta keep doing it to stay strong. We're just gonna do one more, okay? And let's switch sides. So right hand behind your back, left hand forward. Now, if this is easy for you, let's start. Because it's pretty high up. You could put your water bottle on the ground and tap your water bottle. And slower is always better. Please don't rush through these you'll be using more momentum than anything else. Let's go two more just like that. Here's two, 
And then we're getting back to the tricep dips. One more. Sitting down, hands on the bench. There we go. Remember, keep that body nice and close. Elbows go. They want to kind of go out to the sides. Keep them facing straight behind you. We'll go five more. Hang in there with me. Here's four, three. You got this. Hang in there. One more. Excellent. Okay, left hand behind your back, right hand out. Here we go. And what I was going to say is one side is easier to balance on than the other. That's totally normal. We are stronger on one side. Whoop. <laughs> we are stronger on one side. We are better balanced on one side. That is the way it is. Actually, you know what else balance is great for? We're going to do two more. It's great for your core. When you are engaging that core, it's easier to hold that balance. And let's switch. Left hand out, here we go. And breathe for me. Nice and slow. Let's talk about form. I want a nice straight line from your head down to your heel, like a seesaw, teeter-totter. That's how it should be, nice straight line. You're not hunching forward, your shoulders are back. Let's go two more, and then we have one more set of each. Last one right here. Okay, here we go. Hands on the bench, butt is barely out. Let's challenge yourself because it's your last set. Let's go just a little bit lower than you did last time. Yeah, let's go five more. Come on, stay with me, stay strong. Last two. Last one, great work. One more set of balance. Who knew it could be so hard to balance? We're actually gonna, since it's our last set, we're gonna hold the last one and make you, give you a little balance challenge to finish off this. Let's go three more. Here's three. Here's two. Okay, get ready. Now hold it up right here and don't touch. In fact, bring your arm out front. You can tap down as much as you need to for three, two, and one. That was not terrible, was it? Shake it out a little bit. Let's switch sides. Last set, here we go. Breathe for me. Nice, nice, nice. Three more, there's three. There's two. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold it. Hold it right here, hold, hold. Come on, last four, three, two, and one, come on up. We are gonna stretch and that's it for today. Heel is gonna be on the chair, bend that standing leg for me and I want you to reach towards that foot. Stretching is very underappreciated and people think, oh, I'm done with my workout, now I can go. I always want you to think about stretching after a workout every single time. Your muscles just work for you for we're like about eight minutes or so straight and giving just two minutes at the very end, your muscles right now are so happy. It's not a waste of time, it is wonderful. And speaking of balance, flexibility, let's come up and switch, is also something that we lose as we get older. You think, oh, I'm so tight, it's hard to get out of bed. When you stretch, it keeps you flexible, it keeps your body feeling great. It is something, it doesn't take a long time, two to four minutes after every workout, and your body is so, so happy that you do that. And I want you to reach a little bit further. Oh, hello, hamstrings, that feels so good. Now come on up. Let's bring one arm across ready. Right. Keep that shoulder down away from your ear and just, oh, tilt that head the same way as a hand. I know you're going, ugh. <laughs> it does feel so good. <sighs> Come up and let's switch sides. <sighs> and breathe. Nice, big, deep breath in right here. Let's clasp your hands behind you. Press your shoulders down the way. Tuck that chin down. 
Now bring your shoulder, not your shoulders, your arms up behind you. And release, bring those arms out front, round your shoulders and back. Take a great big deep breath up and out. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, every minute you spend on yourself and your health is worth it. Have an amazing day.